guys, it's Bernadette. I am the creator and channel of Dun Da Da Da, which I can never get those angles right. I say that every video. I'll get it right eventually. The Arc Animal Oracle, uh, the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. And uh, if you haven't gotten yours, you should get it. It's the most comprehensive animal oracle tarot deck on the market. There's a hundred cards in the main deck, and there are 49 other cards available to make to give you 149 different animal allies to work with for support, for insight, for divination, for healing. It's amazing, get it. And so this is the May 2020 Spirit Animal Scopes, uh, May 2020 Spirit Animal Scopes. And <clears throat> I'm doing this live, usually it's just, you know, from almost a year now, it's been a written article. Um, but I'm really called to do a video about this this month because it's a really unusual time in history. And I just, I've got to tell you guys face to face, even though I put it in the article, I promise you I did not stack my deck. I did not deliberately pull the overview animal for the month, knowing everything that was going on in the world, knowing what the most popular television show of the last month has been, which is the tiger king now <clears throat> bernadette did not watch that show she's never going to watch that show she knows way too much of the backstory because i live in florida i've been involved in the animal biz for a long time rescue sanctuaries too many friends in too many different places i i don't need to see it on television i already know it so what's interesting about the tiger being pulled out of the uh or appearing or jumping out of the arc animal tarot and oracle deck for the may 2020 spirit animal scopes is that i i made the tiger well really the tiger made the tiger because if you don't know anything about the um the arc just very briefly we went through actually i said it was over thirty thousand photos but we've estimated at this point we went through over 40,000 images of animals over two and a half years to create this deck. And no animal went into this deck unless I could hear in my spirit, in my third eye, in my heart chakra. You know, I could like literally hear them say, no, I'm the one. Um, so every animal that we chose, and I actually did a, um, we had also uh, another tiger that wanted to be in the deck. And so I put it out on Facebook and took a vote and sent it to my email subscribers. And it was very, very close. But I, and a, I mean like really close within like maybe a dozen votes. People wanted the more aggressive like Gur tiger rather than the more kind of noble looking, you know, tiger. Um, and that's cool, you know, give the people what they want, right? But what you'll notice is, so the Tiger King is the most popular show and that's about potential murder and mayhem. A lot of mayhem, a lot of, not great stuff for animals and i'm going to leave it at that um and here the tiger king of wands jumps out of the deck to be the overview card for the month of may so let's talk about that for a minute because um uh you'll find at the end of the video and then below uh in you know i'll put the link to the uh, or you'll find the link to the written article about the spirit animal scopes because i'm going to do this video about the overview but within the article itself, you'll find a very specific spirit animal that chose to come forth for your zodiac sign. So all 12 zodiac signs, you take into consideration the overview animal of the month, and then also what animal has appeared for you for the month also. Okay, so when we talk about tiger, you know, there are very obvious things like, you know, nobility, ferocity, leadership, um, you know, they're the king of the jungle, right? Okay. But it goes so much deeper than that, especially as we're now during this coronavirus pandemic time. And I want to start with uh, uh, one thing that happened to me personally, which at the time wasn't funny, but now is hilarious. And um, it ties in with the tiger because the tiger obviously embodies the fire element. Okay. Okay. And the tiger also has stripes. And when you look at any animal that has stripes or is a, almost like a symmetrically um, colored animal where it's one color, penguins, they're another one. They're black and white. Are they black? Are they white? I don't know. They meet in the middle, so on and so forth. Um, zebras, obviously, um, but really animals, and there are not a ton of them, you know, fish, mammals, birds, that kind of thing. Um, the dancing cranes, they're 
kind of really only two colors on their feathers, although their legs are, you get what I'm saying. Okay, you got to take a look at those stripes because that means polarization. That means one or the other, the yin, the yang. Um, some people say yang. I recently heard somebody say yang and I was like, oh, they're a Chinese, you know, acupuncture and herb practitioner. They know and that sounds really cool. I'm going to say yang. So it's about both sides of a story. It's about both uh, two, you know, opposing opinions. It, it, it's exactly what the world is going through right now, right? Is the coronavirus a hoax? Is it not a hoax? Do we reopen the world? Do we not reopen the world? Is the economy going to recover? Are families going to recover? Are they not? Those are the questions that people are asking, and it's either black or it's white, or in the tiger's case, it's either orange or it's black, right? It is what it is. So when you take a look at that, it's really important that no matter what side of the stripes you're on, no matter what stripes you're wearing at the moment, no matter what your opinion is, the point is, is that tiger energy and king of wand energy has got to carry you through May because it's a rocky time. No matter where you stand on the issues, the issues plural, it doesn't matter. It matters that within you, your family, your career, the things that are most important to you, you be ready to have leadership. You be ready to attack when necessary, to go on the hunt, to go on the prowl when necessary, and get your prey. A tiger is a king of a jungle because it is the apex predator of a jungle, right? Now, I, let's be clear. I mean this metaphorically, okay? I know sometimes you really just want to you know, rip out, get your claws and just, you know, rip out parts of people's bodies. Triple Scorpio, totally get that. But I'm talking metaphorically. So if you're having financial problems, um, there are a couple of things at play here. Let's talk, let's talk about if you're one of the millions and millions and millions of people who are laid off. And if you're watching this video and this is you, I, oh my gosh, I'm just sending you so much green energy, abundance energy. And so is the tiger because... The tiger is a fire symbol, right? And fire is about passion. It's about creating abundance. It's about igniting everything about you inside and out. What do you want to ignite in your life right now? Let's say you got laid off from your job. Yes, I, it's horrible. And I'm sorry you're going through what you're going through. But what if you really hated that job? What if you really wanted a different career, but have been afraid to make the financial decision to make the move. You've been afraid to go back to school. You've been afraid just to make a career change. Whatever, whatever, now is the time to ignite your own fires and move forward. Now, let me tell you what just happened to me. So, oh my gosh. So I'm in my living room and, you know, I'm watching TV and I hear a hell of a hullabaloo coming from the neighbor's house. Not unusual. And I live in a nice neighborhood, but, you know, these people. So I'm like, huh, what's that smell? Because I have like supra crazy over the top hearing and smell and taste. It's nuts. So I'm like, huh. So I go outside and I look around the corner. <laughs> And there are shooting flames coming up from my wooden fence that separates my house from this particular neighbor. Now, I wanted to be panicked, but I'm not a person given to panic. And they're really interesting people. So it really wasn't surprising that my fence was on fire. And thank goodness it had crazy rained where I live in Florida for most of the night the night before. And thank goodness that both the neighbor and I have metal roofs, right? Very popular in Florida. And so I'm looking around, seeing is anything smoldering? Where is this going? Little known fact about Bernadette, when I was 16, I had to go through volunteer fire college um, because there was an arsonist out in the woods where we lived. Long story, I'll tell you guys some other time. So I'm sitting there thinking, okay, I've got a hose right here. You know, I went through the whole checklist and then the neighbors saw me and they about had a heart attack. And, you know, then there was a, anyway, the fire got put out. A giant eight-foot section of my fence is completely decimated. You can see the picture here or here, whichever. Um, and um, 
<laughs> you didn't see the grill, the offending grill in the background because the poor kid, <laughs> the poor guy was grilling. He lost control of the fire in his grill. I don't even know how it happened. It caught my fence on fire. And it would so, you know, I believe that everything happens for a reason. Everything. But when you have big things like, oh, say, the flames are shooting up six feet from your eight-foot fence, so it makes a really, you know... Um, it was an impressive display of fire, let me just say. That's kind of a big event, you know. It's not like a sparkler. It's like six feet of fire above your fence. You got to take a look at that. Well, that's really not so hard to put together. Fire, fence, burning down fences, polarization, everything that's happening in the world today. Fences that have long been are being burned down like nobody's business. They have to be. There's, <laughs> there's no other way the world is going to come out of this the way on the positive side of this unless these particular kinds of fences are burned down. So I thought that was really interesting because literally just a day or two later, pulled the tiger card, a fire element, and now we're talking about polarization. And I'm going to say fire element one more time because this whole time has been a time of ignition. Now, the month of May is the fifth month, and the number five is about the five elements. It leads us back to the Chinese culture. The tiger is one of the um, uh, 12 zodiac signs in the Chinese culture. So we've got this whole like thing that's going around and around and around about different cultures and what it means, and then the number five is also... Um, it's the five elements in the Chinese uh, way of thinking for both their healing and in their zodiac. It's earth, air, fire, water, spirit for those of us in other metaphysical practices. Five is a very sacred number. Now in the tarot, five, you know, five of pentacles, five of wands, um, those are maybe not so very happy times, but out of those not so happy, not so good times emerges just amazingly beautiful things now it sucks to get through the numbers five it sucks to get them in a reading it you know it just sucks but there are so many things that offset that it's like i mean how many times have you heard people say yes that was terrible but if i hadn't gone through that i wouldn't have learned this or i hadn't done or i wouldn't have done this or that or the other whatever okay so those are some things to consider during may with the tiger okay and then the king of wands well Wands are about communication, right? They are about um, the information that comes to us and intuition. And, you know, being a king, it's obviously about leadership. And just so you know, um, in the, the book for the ARC, it's a 372-page 370, full-color book and in it you'll find the description what am i doing the description for the king of wands as a standalone card and also the description for the y'all i suck at this i don't know that i'm ever going to get better i even practiced before i got <laughs> I'm so ridiculous oh my god i'm so ridiculous um i really did practice this to try to get the book in let me just put it over my face because you guys need to see this so then you've got the um the description also as the tiger as a spirit totem and power animal. So going through the month of May with your spirit animal scope and the tiger appearing as the overview, then it, it's really important to consider, are you going to use tiger energy as your spirit animal? Do you, do you think that the tiger has come to you to support you, to inspire you, to strengthen you? Um, what kind of messages is tiger giving to you? Uh, are you using it for healing? Are you discovering that you are tiger? Like I am bear. Like I even call myself Bernadette because of my lifelong fascination, obsession with bears. And any, I'm built like a bear. Um, hey, I'm the original Build-A-Bear. I wonder if I can get, I wonder if I could get money for that. No, just kidding. So um, people who know me best know that I have the temperament of a bear. Uh, I'm so bear-like, it's crazy. 
But maybe as a totem animal, you might be discovering that tiger is your totem. Awesome. Learn everything you can about tiger. Or maybe you need to call forth some element of tiger or several components of tiger. Maybe you need to invoke that from inside of yourself to be able to successfully navigate this time. Now, not everybody is having a hard time. Not everybody is having a financial problem. Not everybody is stressed for whatever reason. Not everybody is, you know, uh, some people are having a really, really hard time with isolation. Some people are freaked that they're being told now they have to wear a mask. I mean, there's everything in between, but there are folks who have and are you know, it's a little inconvenient. You can't go have a, you know, I live in Florida, right? It's God's waiting room. And we have a big place here called the villages. It's where all retirees, they just, you know, it's like a retirement dream come true. And I'm sure they're unhappy because they couldn't or shouldn't get on the golf course. They're all very famous for their morning martinis and bloody Marys and mimosas. And so they shouldn't or couldn't gather, you know, wham. Wham, I'm so sorry you're inconvenienced, but the, there are people in the rest of the world who are really, really struggling just to survive. But to the people who are whining because they're inconvenienced, make no mistake, this is a message, and if you're watching this video, this is a message for you as well. Really, it is. What kind of communication do you need to be having? What or not having? Are you too aggressive? Is your growl like crazy? And, and if you think of all of the um, terms, like, um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? It's like, um, you know, uh, let me just move on because I can't even think of the dang term that I'm trying to think to, but, you know, a tiger can't, tr uh, a tiger can't change its stripes. In the book we have um, what is it that we have in the book? I forgot. It was something we were like, yeah, that, that really needs to be in the book. Um, oh, don't wake the sleeping tiger. That's a really big saying for tigers, uh, you know, about tigers. And so it's what, what kind of those phrases might be coming to you or you need to pay attention to during this time. Also keeping in mind five, it's May, it's a sacred month. May is the time, it's the month of rebirth and blossoming. Um, you know, April showers bring May flowers, that nature of thing. It is, it is such a symbolic, rich card for this time. It is such a symbolic, rich card anyway, but especially during this time. So let's say that you don't care anything about tarot and you're like, King of Wands, Schming of Wands, don't care. Making sure that you are clear about what Tiger is trying to tell you during this time is really important because... Tigers, if you've never been to, oh, I just don't like the word zoo because I just don't like them. I understand about the research and I, I don't like them. Um, but if you've ever been to a place like a sanctuary, um, rescue facility where you've been so lucky to get in because they don't let the public in, they are truly a rescue operation. Have <laughs> you ever heard your first tiger let out a roar just to say good morning? You do this because everything, and you, you might think you've heard it on the greatest sound system in the world, nothing prepares you for being in person and having it light up your life because everything around you vibrates. The air, the earth, and then you start to vibrate from the inside out. So... While any animal can be, you know, listen, all animals have a sound of some kind that they make. While any animal could be about the throat chakra, what is it that you're trying to say? What do you want to say? What is it that you want to roar or should roar or are feeling not confident to roar? Tiger can really help you with that. And, you know, when I do classes, <laughs> it's a good thing I was an acting coach for a thousand years because... 
I make up these crazy things to do to help people really connect with their power animals. And I will have people roar like a tiger. You have never seen more afraid people in your life. You think people are afraid to sing in public? Ask them to roar like a tiger. Ask them to walk like a cat. Ask them to walk like a penguin. Ask them to meow like a kitten or cluck like a chicken. Uh, they're horrified. They're just horrified. But you should see the transformation that takes place when they just fill up those lungs and they let it out. Oh my gosh, the look in their eye changes, their entire stance changes. And they come out of it like they shock themselves at the that they bring from inside of themselves. And I'm just like, go sister, go brother, woo! Connect with that wild, wild side of yourself that hasn't been tamed. Because as beaten down as you might think you are, and listen, we all have times in our life where we're just like, I just can't. I literally cannot. I cannot pick myself up off the ground. This is where I'm gonna die. Don't even bring me bread and water. Just let me decay right here. We've all had those times. But that's the tamed part of you. No matter what the situation, whether you made a mistake, made a bad decision, it was perpetrated on you by somebody else. It, 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 don't get me started on sacred contracts and how nothing is really just randomly perpetrated on you by somebody else. But that's a conversation for another video. But there is a part of you that is not tame. There is a part of you that is not beaten down there's probably a bigger part of you that's not beaten down and not tamed than there is the part that's beaten down and tamed. And if it takes you, <laughs> it takes your family peeking around the corner because you're like, you know, I know we're in quarantine, but I'm going to try growling like a tiger. I'm going to try letting it all <laughs> hang out. And it does something for you. Rock on. Good for you and good for your spirit. And once you've done that, and you could even do fun things like pounce. You know, you got kids at home. My God, they'll think it's the funnest thing in the world. Stalk them and then pounce on them and tickle them, right? But be clear about what you're doing, right? You know, when a tiger stalks, have you ever seen them? Like, look up Nat Geo or something. You know, look up pictures. They get this look in their eye. And see how I went, and you guys were like, hello, hello, is the video on? It's really unbelievable. And they really do hunch down like this. They really do. They hunch because they're getting in that position to go whoosh and jump on something. So if you're going to hunt something, you know, your kids to tickle them, your wife, your partner, your, you know, your husband, your significant other, what, whatever label, um, practice it for real like a tiger would practice it. Get, do the physical motions get get that feeling that comes over you or you may decide it's the time for you i mean listen if you think you've seen ha cow house cats play <laughs> watch a 500 pound pair of tigers go at it they're playing just the same but the growls are they seem more significant and the slaps with the paws seem more significant because it sounds like somebody's cracked a skull but they're still just playful, big, giant house cats, right? I, th I think of Mother Gaia as our house. Yes, we live in our brick and mortar presences, our brick and mortar places, but really when you consider it, we live, our home is Mother Gaia, so they're just big, giant house cats playing, right? Okay, so it might seem like I'm belaboring a point with the tiger being the card, the spirit animal card that showed up for May, but the all the videos from now on out because I'm going to do videos every month along with the written article they're all going to be like this because when the animal kingdom shows up for us you guys they're not showing up because they don't have anything else to do they're showing up because they want to send the world a message now for this particular spirit animal scopes to my best of my knowledge I'm the only one doing them I'm sure other people will start doing them. They're really cool. They're a different twist on tarot. They're, they add a lot more dimension in a lot of different ways. Um, and I'm a tarot freak. I love tarot. Got a million tarot decks and oracle decks. Love them all. But it, it's to be taken very seriously. 
and I did a video earlier we'll put the link down here or you'll find the link down below about how to find your spirit animal and it talks about how when you really want a message when you're really being committed to the spiritual awakening and growth and understanding it's not McDonald's now sometimes things happen in the blink of an eye <laughs> it's really hard not to understand fence on fire it's really hard not to understand that although i would just like to say oh one thing i forgot so you know i love the asian culture truly i love the asian culture well i really love all mo most all cultures but i love the asian culture and when you think about it the fire was burning up the wood element now wood is all about earth and grounding and stability as you might imagine um yes now would be a really great time to be solid and stable that doesn't mean you can't be on fire also and remember the fire element is about destruction but whatever has been destroyed usually gets rebuilt in a much stronger healthier more organized um dreamed a little bit bigger manner than what was there before if that's what you set your intention to be so the other thing that um it, it's hard to keep all these animals and everything in my head i just want to look at this really quickly because i, I want to make it really um clear that it's important when you're considering what animals come to you like for this video the the spirit animal that's come to us is tiger and i have thank you guys very much i'm always so honored when i look at my google analytics and i'm like i don't even know the name of that country what what is that again and uh, i'm really not that bad at geography but kind of that bad and it's just such an honor when you guys from all around the world are reading the articles on what is my spirit animal.com and then watching the videos on youtube so honored so understand that animals are spirit totem and power animals are a not trademarked by the native american culture you guys i listen you have to see that this is my office you'd have to see the rest of my house i'm i grew up in ocala florida everything in my state lake okeechobee lake panasofsky come on you guys i i grew up around the native american culture have a great respect have great ties into it um but the cultures all around the world have their version of spirit totem and power animals and so when they come to you like in this case it's a global reading because this is a reading for people all around the globe um it might be for what did i see in here oh yeah so in india they equate tiger with abundance makes good sense that's the fire element and then something i don't know how i forgot this because it was one of the first things i learned about tiger but if you look at the chi if you look at the markings on a tiger's head it looks very much like the chinese symbol for um leader and so um what what is it what else was it in here oh yeah so also um the goddess durga or durga rides on the back of a big tiger so and the sumatrans well everybody kind of says that tigers are shapeshifters all cats are are really well known to be shapeshifters um and so you know you start bringing goddess energy into it and it's really funny to me how when you bring up tiger energy most people immediately go to the male version of that y'all not all tigers are male or we wouldn't have little tigers running around right so this may be about you embracing your feminine divine your tiger goddess energy and what does that mean i the list is too long to even go into but cats cats are really not afraid of the dark and they're really nocturnal animals in their own right so something else that comes along with this is you know is it time is tiger telling you it's time to start facing the shadows in yourself in your life in your job um what do you need to dig deep to face what do you need to dig deep 
you know, all animals work on instinct. Yes, our domestic, our domesticated animals, uh, who I just don't think you can ever really domesticate an animal, truly. I mean, you know, Shih Tzus and Pomeranians, maybe. <laughs> but my Chihuahua, my, hold on. Oh, people, my Chihuahua. Come here, baby. She's going to go bark at boogers. I don't know what she's barking at. But my Chihuahua, she... She's a, well, you'll see her. She's a chubby little thing because she's part, part terrier and part chihuahua. But the other night at like three o'clock in the morning, she's never done this before. She raised me and the cats like, wah, because she stood up on the bed and she barked like I've never heard her bark before. And I turned on the light. Her hackles were up. She looked like a Rhodesian Ridgeback and she was puffed out like a, uh, I don't know, like a bull mastiff or a pit bull. I said, hops, honey, that's enough. You're, you're barking at nothing. And then I thought, I'm an idiot because maybe she was barking at something because she didn't back down. She continued to bark. I turned out the light, made sure the house was completely dark and very silently got up from the bed and stood there and listened because I'm not, <laughs> well, I'm not trying to be the idiot in the scary movies that, you know, grabs a candlestick or my cell phone or something and pokes down the hall, I'd, I, I'm going to be on 911 or bailing me and my animals out the window before you can ever get to me. I'm not that dumb. So fortunately, nothing turned out to be in there. But my God, she was ferocious. Where I'm going with all of this is, what, what do you need to face in the shadows? What's lurking out there in those shadows? What's been knocking on your door from the shadows? And like a cat, cats are amazing at hiding. They can hide in plain sight. They can withdraw their energy to such an extent that energetically, psychically energetically, you can think they've left the planet. I tell the story... I don't even remember. Uh, hold on, you can eat. Come here, happy Debbie. Because I, I have three eye office. Hello. See, she's giving crazy Chihuahua look because she's like, "What is mommy doing?" But if you look at her girth, if you look at her girth, she's not just a fat Chihuahua. She's part terrier too, um, and maybe even like miniature pit bull. There's a miniature pit bull, right? No, probably not. So, all right, I love you. Get down. Oh my God, your breath is horrible. So, um. So it's uh, facing the shadows is never fun. And going back to talking about cats withdrawing their energy. Uh, I don't remember which video it is. I do remember which video it is. It's the, I screwed up with my spirit animal um, talking about my cat, how the spirit animals had sent me a message for two solid months about the coronavirus. And I just wasn't paying attention like an idiot. I wanted one thing and I was intent on getting one thing. And they sent me the right answer. I just didn't see it because I thought I knew better or thought I knew something I didn't know. And I tell the story of my cat Simba who disappeared one day. He mistakenly got out. Oh my God. It's just a long drawn out story. You can watch that video and, um, you know, and hear about that. But the the rescue lady uh because i called in a um one of the search and rescue dog unit people from the state of florida that usually they're called cadaver dogs and they usually find cadavers i was gonna find my cat and i find him i did but um you know she said you know don't be upset that you're a psychic and you can't tap into your cat's energy she said if you wanted to disappear would you broadcast your energy to the world no. She said, if you were scared and in hiding, would you do everything you could to be invisible? Yeah, I would. She goes, well, cats can do that. She said, dogs, not so much. She said, but cats, they can be right in front of you, right at your feet, and you will not see them. You will trip over them. If they want to hide from you, you'll trip over them and not see them. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. So it made really good sense to me. And so even though Tiger... Even though Tiger has come and mostly it's about ferocity and stalking and fire energy, 
it might be time to contain that energy, but that doesn't mean that you're you're showing any less strength. That doesn't mean, you know, kings, we're going to go back to king of wands. In the arc animal tarot and oracle deck, the tiger is the king of wands. Sometimes leaders have to keep their yap shut and they have to stand still. Um, what is it? Um, the art of war? There's some kind of something I heard somebody say the other day. I'm not quoting. I, I don't know this to be a fact. I haven't read it myself, but this is a, a really knowledgeable, knowledgeable person that I trust a lot. But you, you don't disturb an enemy <laughs> while they're destroying themselves. You just stand back, you know, with a margarita or a martini. And if you smoke, you know, you just stand there and, huh, 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 and watch them destroy themselves. So only you can know what tiger means for you at this time. And it might be a combination of things. It might be time to stay quiet and just keep your energy back while you consider the best way to pounce on what it is that you want or what it is that you don't want. But I, I have to bring this in because this, this show, the Tiger King, right? Look it up. The millions and millions of people that are what polarized by this show my god <laughs> and if you haven't read the twitter comments or some of the facebook comments <laughs> you gotta read them there you guys i'm just here to tell you there are some very creative clever people out there and hilarious people out there in this world i love you every one of you that comes up with this stuff it makes my life worth living but that show is about potential. I'm saying potential. No one's making any accusations here. Potential murder, potential mayhem, potential mistreatment of animals. Potential. There's no one making a judgment. There's no one making an accusation. Remember I said that. So because it's during this time that's a pandemic, crisis in, across the world, Again, maybe you don't think it's a crisis. Maybe you think it's all malarkey. But the point is, is that that's a very interesting show to be number one, along with the tiger showing up for May, which is a very powerful month numerologically, astrologically. You got to start tying on, you know, my fence caught on, well, my fence didn't catch on fire randomly. It was caught on fire by an errant grill uh, and an errant person running the grill. So, um it's i don't care i i i i really desperately desperately try never to say you have to you should no you don't you don't got to do anything and i'm not I'm not i can't even tell myself what i should do much less tell you guys what to do but um tiger's powerful energy all animals are but okay it's the tiger it's got the accumulated energetic imprint or pattern from eons and eons and eons of cultures all across the world revering it idolizing it making it a huge part of its myth and legend that's a lot of energy let's be clear about that that's gonna have a lot more energetic thrust behind it than oh say the tsetse fly or oh say an anteater right okay so um, or some random shrimp or something that you've never heard of, you know, running around the ocean. That's a lot of energy to tap into. That's a lot of energy to allow in. That's a lot of energy to call on. So when you're thinking about how you're going to use this information moving forward through the month of May, realize that that power is going to impact everything throughout maybe the course of the year. It's entirely possible. Once something is set in motion, it stays in motion, right? So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope that you'll read about your individual sign, uh, your individual zodiac sign in the article. And I hope this was helpful to you. I know this time is cuckoo crazy go nuts. And I just... Again, if I could really 
give you all something, just one thing, if you've made it this far in the video. It's just stay wild. Don't let them tame you. And don't ever for one minute think that you're tamed or you're beaten down so much you can't come back from it. That's not true. Inside of you is the DNA that remembers. Inside of you are the chromosomes that remember. Your heart remembers. Every chakra in you remembers and can still be activated at any time you want. And that's my greatest wish for everybody, especially now. You've got to stay wild, okay? Pinky swear. Oh, pinky swear. Like I'm giving you my forefinger. Pinky swear, everybody. Okay. All right. I love you. I'll see you next month.